Hello and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. It is Samoyed Sundays, yes you. And today I'm, excuse me, I love you too. <laughs> and so today I'm going to be answering one of your most asked questions on Instagram and it's also requested on YouTube as well. And that is how I deal with all of this fur. So first off, what I'm gonna say is there is no way not to have fur on you. You will always have fur, probably in something you cook, always on your black pants. If you have Samoyeds, it's just a fact of life, or pretty much if you have any dog for that matter. So first off, you're going to want to brush your dog every day. Not a full-on brush, but just a little over the top, get some of that loose fur out. If your dog doesn't have as much fur as these girls, maybe every other day, just find a schedule that works for you. Two, I have to clean on the regular. I sweep every day. My apartment has mostly hardwood floors, but it also has a couple areas of carpet. So the vacuum I use is, I have it down here, this Shark Pet, the Shark Rocket for Pet. Um, I'll put a link somewhere around the description with the, the full name. But this one is great. It's little great for a little apartment and because I only have two carpeted rooms, I can just get away with using one of these. If you have a full carpeted house, I absolutely love the vacuum that my mom uses. Um, she uses the Dyson Rollerball Pet Vacuum. Once again, picture over here somewhere. Apparently I'm really good at knowing vacuum names. But that one is beyond amazing for fur. Um, this shark is pretty great, not too pricey. The Dyson is really expensive, so I couldn't justify for getting it for two rooms. But both of those will be in the descriptions below. I decided to not vacuum or sweep for a week just for this video, which honestly hurt my heart. But, so here's a little footage of what happens if you don't vacuum or sweep all of the time. As you can see, there are tumbleweeds underneath my kitchen table. Even if you brush them every day, there's going to be hair everywhere. Now, spring has come early in Denver. You can see um, some people have been commenting Miko has little tear spots because she gets allergies in the spring just like you'd get hay fever. But Denver has been in the 60s and 70s for the past few weeks and Miko um, has decided to shed early. Oh, so as you can see, Sam's shed a lot. Not pulling hard at all, but she is coming out in giant chunks. So, let's see. Oh, yep, your leg wants to come out. Just taking a wide tooth comb, and this is literally one brush stroke. So if you're looking for a dog that doesn't have a lot of fur, Sam's aren't your thing. And my last tip are these. They are rubber gloves. They are amazing. Um, you can literally get a pack of like four of them at Target for $3. But what you do, something about the rubber in them, pop it on, and if you have fur stuck to anything having high, um, stuck to anything with upholstery, couches, chairs, lampshades, all of that, this rubber will stick to that fur and help it get off really easily. My dog's like running on the corners of my couches. So they fly past and they will leave a fur trail <laughs> stuck on those corners. I use this just to grab all of that fur off. Yeah. So pretty much when it comes down to <laughs> get used to the fur, it will happen. You can keep it under control. Vacuum, sweep daily, brush daily, and have a rubber glove. <laughs> and if you are still covered in fur, when you're leaving your house, I keep lint rollers everywhere. Costco sells them in bulk packs of five and they're huge, they're wonderful. But I have one in my pocketbook, I have one in my yoga bag, especially with black yoga pants. I have one when you leave the door that I can use for guests, one in the car, literally everywhere. Invest in some of these, you definitely need some, well, not really an investment, they're relatively inexpensive. But the only thing I don't like about these is they're not very eco-friendly. If you do know of an eco-friendly option, yeah, will you leave me a comment below? I would love to know. 
because this is the best I've found for por uh, portability, but if there's something better than that that doesn't create lots of paper and sticky plastic-ish waste, I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I do a wellness videos every Wednesday and some Moyed Sundays. So we'll see you again soon. Bye.